I'm here at the Biotech and Money Conference with John Prendergast, the Independent Director at Heat Biologics. John, let's start by summarising Heat Biologics. Who are you? What do you do? Donald, Heat Biologics is an immunotherapy cancer company based out of North Carolina. We are studying non-small cell lung cancer and we're currently in what is called phase two development trials. And we use a very specific way of activating the immune system of each cancer patient using an off-the-shelf uh, T-cell activation program. Now, what is a T-cell? It's one of the fundamental components of the immune system in each patient's body. And what we're trying to do is give that patient's own immune system the best opportunity to respond. And the way they respond is through activating a, a cell in the body, an immune cell called a T-cell. So our platform approach is really designed to activate these T-cells very robustly. Other companies at this conference are developing products to enhance the immune system. Why do you think your product is going to be more successful than theirs? I think where we differentiate ourselves, Donald, is, is in the fact that we use a live cell approach where we are able to, for the first time, be able to use multiple determinants that will activate the immune system. So these are called antigens. They are present on tumor cells. We've devised a cell line, which is a tumor cell line that doesn't replicate in the body, that we can inject under the skin, and it can produce up to 50 specific tumor-associated antigens that then can drive the immune response of each patient's immune system to respond. And which phase are you in terms of your testing, and, and how well have those tests been going? So right now we've, we're in the middle of uh, a phase two clinical trial in non-small cell lung cancer, and we're doing this uh, trial in combination with Bristol-Myers Squibb's uh, immuno, immune checkpoint inhibitor called Opdivo. And we are planning to enroll 60 patients, and currently we've enrolled 35. And we've released data on about 15 of those patients uh, several months ago. So tell me why next year is such an important year for you. Our big milestone for next year is really to release the data on those 60 patients, and that should happen in early part of the third quarter, at which point in time, hopefully with the data we have in hand at that point, we will be able to progress into a phase three pivotal registrational trial that obviously will ultimately lead to commercialization and approval. So in terms of major milestones for next year, that really is it? That really is it, plus the fact that obviously with the data we're accumulating and that we have already accumulated, we hope to be able to secure a fairly robust type of partnership with either a sponsor on outside of the US or um, alternatively within the US. And we are talking to a number of classical pharmaceutical partners that obviously have very strong vested interest in this particular space at the moment. So you're looking for a big pharma partner, are you? Correct. So what stock exchange are you listed on and what is your current market cap? We're on the NASDAQ. We are currently have a market cap of $25 million. Okay. And does that make you small? That makes us small. Nimble? Nimble. And available for investment. <laughs> what are your funding requirements as a small and nimble company? And how will you finance uh, Heat Biologics into the future? How does that well, work? In the past, we've financed the company through equity financing. We'll continue to do that. Obviously, we would look for more non-dilutive funding sources through partnerships. But ultimately, with this data in hand, if we are preparing for um, a phase three trial next year, we would like to be able to secure a major uh, investment. Why should an investor invest in your company? I think one of the key differentiation factors for us from an investment perspective is based on what we have accumulated in data now in our phase one and phase two trial in combination with Opdivo. This is a checkpoint inhibitor. Bristol-Myers has this. Keytruda is Merck's own uh, competitive um, checkpoint inhibitor. We believe that combination therapy going forward is really the key. And we believe that the ability of the immune system to be activated is absolutely critical in order to enhance the effectiveness of these checkpoint inhibitors. So right now in non-small cell lung cancer space, only about 30% of patients are responsive to these checkpoint inhibitors. 
they are, we have now differentiated these responses into t what we call cold tumours and hot tumours. In cold tumours where there are no T-cells present, when you go and look at the tumours themselves, only 10% are responding in that setting. In patients where there are uh, hot tumours that have already T-cell responses, 50% of those patients respond to checkpoint inhibitors. We're looking to convert that 10% into a much higher number. And what we're seeing in earlier trials is that 10% is significantly higher in patients where we combine our approach with a checkpoint inhibitor. And that's potentially transformative and certainly will obviously be able to treat more patients, give them much better clinical benefit, and at the same time for the uh, larger pharmaceutical companies and ourselves, expand the opportunity commercially. It's easy to describe something as a game changer, but do you think that your product really is that? In our mind, this is a total game changer. Not only that, we see this, this approach being used not only with checkpoint inhibitors, but other approaches out there right now that can be be able to kind of increase the availability of these T-cells. So we send soldiers into the fight. There are things out there, and one of which is in our own shop ourselves, and anybody that will expand those soldiers in the fight. So I think the whole approach is going to be designed around combinatorial approaches over the next number of years. We hope to have essentially two very, very strong arms of that approach. What does the future look like for heat biologics? Assuming the data goes the way we expected, we think that as we've just spoken about, this could be transformative and obviously represents an outstanding investment opportunity for anybody out there looking into the immuno-oncology space. Thank you very much, John Prendergast, Heat Biologics. Thank you.